it's me. I was wondering if after all these weeks you'd like to speak to go over BSG. So hello from the post outside. I'm just kidding, I thought that was really funny. <laughs> um, hello, though, for real. Um, I'm driving to work. I'm packing up all of my stuff. Um, I'm moving in 26 days to Virginia Beach. Um, as of right now, it's official, but knowing the life, who knows? Maybe it will not be so official soon. Um, but I think it's going to happen. I'm really, like, positive about everything that's going to happen. I'm really psyched about uh, the move, starting over. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm taking the online course for real estate to go get my license there. I don't know if I'm going to get back into it or if I'm going to, like, try to do... Uh, like an assistant position at a real estate company or like a transaction coordinator or if I'm going to be an agent again or if I'm just going to say screw it and take like a waitressing job so that, that way if I want to take days off to be with my kids it's not like some crazy loss and I really do like the whole when I go home at the end of the day work doesn't come with me with real estate um, when I go home at the end of the day I am stressed about my clients transactions constantly um, so another thing um, I gained a lot of weight um, and when I say a lot I mean 12 pounds a lot a lot um, I was 133 and I went all the way back up to 145 I'm gonna blame this on three things. Um, I ate, number one, first and foremost, of course, I ate like a garbage disposal. I ate everything in sight. I didn't care how many carbs were in it. I ate Thanksgiving dinner like four times, I think, total in the last like week. Um, I didn't watch what I was eating at restaurants. I knew that my restriction let up a little bit. I could feel it let up. I could feel um, I had more room in there and I was kind of surprised at how much, how easily, how much food was going into my stomach. Um, and I know over time that happens, I, it was just noticeably different. So like in the beginning, it's a couple ounces of food you can have at a time and then it kind of works its way up to like a half cup. Um, and I was teetering in the half cup range for a while and if I like, tried I could get like a cup down and now it's like a cup and a quarter to a cup and a half which is a, a pretty big plate of food um, but the second that I started reeling it back in and watching my portions it took one day not even like the full day of me watching my carbs again eating healthy breakfast little snacks little lunch little snack and then dinner I made myself like a semi big sorry someone's texting me I made myself like a semi big plate not big but it's on my Instagram the plate of um, mashed cauliflower and beef merlot is on there and I could only eat half of what's in that picture after like one day of eating right by dinner time I couldn't the restriction was right back and I think it also has to do with the types of foods that I'm eating so like when I was eating carbs I could eat a, a half a cup or three quarters of a cup of stuffing no problem which is pretty scary and then when I go back to like the Atkins ketogenic diet, um, the restriction came right back and I don't feel hungry whatsoever. It's day two of it. Usually it takes me three days to get back into ketosis and not feel hungry anymore because a side effect of ketosis is you don't feel hungry. Um, but I already, it's the after, it's noonish on day two and I'm already not hungry. I don't feel like that background hunger. Um, so that being said, um, if you guys want to do this whole keto thing with me, I'm keeping a food journal. I'm, I'm really bad about entering everything into my fitness pal because it's so tedious. Um, but on Instagram, I'm going to take a picture of what I eat and post it on there. I'm keeping my uh, food journal with pictures because it's a lot easier for me just to snap a picture and be like, this is what I have for lunch, than to enter everything manually and, and rack up all the calories and stuff that way. I have a basic idea of how many carbs are in things just because I've done Atkins in the past and for like a year straight and I, I knew what was in stuff um, and 
and doing the picture stuff on Instagram helps me at the end of the day if I want to go into my fitness pal and be like, what did I eat today? I can just look at my pictures real quick and be like, oh yeah, that's what I ate today. So I'm gonna do that. If you guys wanna do it with me, um, which I would love to have as many of you guys do it with me as possible because it's really encouraging for me too to have like a buddy system. Uh, Lady Walton 1313 is my Instagram. If you guys don't have that, uh, L A D Y W A L T O N 1313. And then um, anything with the hashtag that I put, I put Laura's Keto, L A U R A S K E T O. K E T O. I'm doing my food journal with that hashtag for this like keto challenge of mine. I'm giving myself one week and I'm being very strict with it. If by the weekend when I have my kids here, I slip up, then I do, but I'm gonna try to keep this going as long as possible. So if I can get as many of you guys to come with me and do it with me, that would be awesome. Um, I went up to 145 after Thanksgiving. To be fair, that was after eating and it was at night when I weighed myself, but that morning I was 141. Um, and then just from like one day of doing low carbs, I dropped back down to 137.2. So my first mini goal is to get back under 133 so get back to 133 or less because my lowest so far in this whole journey was 133.2 so my first mini goal get under 133 and then my goal weight is 125 for all of this stuff so join me message me comment whatever um add me on instagram do the stuff with me i would love to see your guys's progress and have you guys join and do this if you have any questions about like ketogenic stuff feel free to email me. Um, a lot of people have been asking me about it, so I just have like a copy and paste email. I can email you my notes on it. And yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Hope everyone's cool. Happy December and happy holidays for everyone out there. I can't wait for Christmas. I'm so excited. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.